Hi, Seth. Hello. It's good to see you and it's good to be with everybody for our midweek update. Mm -hmm. And as always, there's a lot. I love the vibrant life of our community together. So the first thing we want to start off with is a huge thank you to everyone who made our community meal uh, possible. But I'd like to focus on Grace, Ari, and Ren, who really did the work out front at the, at the roadside, asking how many meals they need, getting them into the cars. Um, they did an amazing, amazing work. Wow. I also want to recognize Nan, who will be terribly embarrassed that I'm recognizing her, who not only coordinated so much, but she labored at every point with every group doing the work. And uh, I hope she got to put her feet up last night. And also the youth, the university students, the uh, adults who help also help put the meals together there at the Lutheran Church, as well as those who um, brought corn and and greens and salads uh, at their donations to share. So all of those pieces uh, together to to serve about 200 meals yesterday. So amazing. Yeah. So that was a great opportunity. Um, yeah. Also wanted to note something that's a little bit further out, but you hopefully saw it in the newsletter, maybe on the screen slides that we're ho hosting a watch party. We haven't really done this uh, at least in, in my recent memory, but we're not hosting Ted and company uh, physically here. They are going to be at Bridgewater Church of the Brethren, but we are going to host a watch party to watch that live event that's happening there uh, and support 50 years of on earth peace. And so we're going to gather uh, in the sanctuary an opportunity to watch uh, this event put on by Ted and company called Just Give Them the News, I believe, is what it's called, uh, a show a little bit around uh, the, a different take on the Christmas story. So look forward to that event uh, near the end of the month uh, here on, is it September 29th? Yes. 28th. 28th. It's a, it's a Saturday. Yeah, it's a Saturday. Saturday. Uh, so on the 28th. So look forward to that. I think the last thing we wanted to do was just walk through this weekend. As you said, we have a lot going on. There's second harvest going on right now in our parking lot. It's getting getting to be a full parking lot, and we hope there'll be a full parking lot this weekend as well. Um, Friday, we have the Hispanic Heritage Festival that will be downtown on the corner of, of, of Market and Main. Sing Me Home, we'll have a, a booth there. Uh, feel free if you want to be part of that to come hang out with us and just be there with our with our neighbors and with the community. So that's on Friday from five to eight. Then we also have uh, the Sing Me Home uh, concert series here at the church. We'll be over by the pavilion area uh, from five to seven, and then from uh, seven to nine we'll be indoors uh, for, for that. Let me just uh, show you a little schedule that you'll see online, but if you're not on Facebook or any of those things uh, or social media, I just wanted to share it here. You'll see that we're kind of, I mean, the gates are opened. It'll never be blocked off, but you know, you can come as early as you want, but kind of officially people arriving, food trucks will be here, music starting at five. We have the Manchester University Brass Quintet we have Friends with the Weather, and then uh, some more of the Brass Quintet providing some music for us. Toby Tobias uh, is going to play a short little set on his acoustic guitar, uh, and then uh, another set of Friends with the Weather. Then Sadie Gustafson Zook will play indoors, and then May Erlewine uh, will close our evening. So uh, that's just a little roadmap uh, of where we're headed uh, on Saturday. So we look forward to both of those events. And then uh, what about Sunday, Amy? Yes. So Sunday morning is, um, it's like a kissing cousin to sing me home because there'll be some people who come in and stay to worship with us. 
And we're continuing the theme um, from, from, the, from Friday and Saturday with Julie Garber, Beth Beery, and Mackenzie Coulter Kern doing some reflections on uh, life giving engagement with folks from other cultures. And so that should be a really wonderful worship service. And then, um, and then the uh, during the Sunday school hour, all things considered, continues with their series on Christian nationalism. And then, after worship and Sunday school, um, folks are invited to participate in the first of two sessions of standing with people of color. So bring your own brown bag, bring your own little lunch to eat. If you want to share something, that's fine. And the session will be about 90 minutes. And this is a reflection session to deepen our own awareness of um, our engagement with diversity. And uh, we look we look forward to that. Yeah. So, yeah, come out to all of these offerings this weekend. But as I mentioned on Sunday, in invite people share share the the news of these uh, of these different community gatherings invite people to worship to hear these stories about um you know uh, of people in our congregation and their engagement uh uh with community members so we really look forward to uh friday saturday and sunday and there's district conference as well happening up at camp mac uh, as well so we definitely you'll you will be there and our delegates and we send our our blessings uh, with that gathering uh, as well. So a lot going on this weekend. Yeah. Good. Well, we'll see everyone um, in in different bits and places, and maybe many people will bump into each other over and over again. Yeah. All right. Take care, everyone. Mm -hmm.